what's going on guys, it's Fareed the Tailor. I decided to make a quick tutorial video on how to thread your sewing machine. This is going to be different from, mo from my vlogs and my other videos because I just want to jump right into it. Uh, I remember when I used to look at tutorial videos and I used to always just skip the whole beginning and it was way too long. A lot of you have probably skipped this already. So I got the idea from a friend who recommended that I make a tutorial video on how to thread sewing machines because you know a lot of people don't even know how to begin with that first step. So let's just jump right into it. So this big thread shouldn't be here in the first place, but anyways, I'll just use this one. I'll use a dark color so you guys can see it. So I'm not sure if your machine is going to be the same way. You guys might have a different machine. Uh, I have a Singer Heavy Duty and it has like basic steps. Um, the other thing is your bobbin might be inside. So for that, you will need to see a different tutorial. Uh, this one is for machines that have the bobbin on the top, um, which I prefer always because it is way easier. And so this machine, I'll just quickly go over. And again, if you're using an antique machine, um, then the threading is totally different. But if your machine is similar to this one, even slightly, then this is this is relevant for you. So basically, you start with the first step. Um, if I just zoom in over here, uh, you, you can just pass the thread to this first point right over here. After that, you just pull it over here and have it get stuck right there and bring it forward. Once it gets forward, you're going to drop it into this area right over here. And as you can see, the arrow points upward. So there's a part in here that the thread will get stuck at. So basically, when I pull below, I pull back up. So it basically goes around this part right over here. So then you bring the side up. You bring the needle up, and this part should be up. This part should be sticking out. So once that first step is over, or those first two, three steps are over, you bring it back here, and you, you get it stuck in this part right here. So you pull up, pull down. And then you can pull it like this. So basically, it went from here, went down, went up, and now it's going back down after coming in this metal piece right here. So now you have your thread here. So it started here, it went be behind this, it went down here, went around this part, and now it's coming down from this metal part right here. So now we'll stick the thread up in here. And I don't know if you guys can really see, but there's a metal part right over here on the bottom. So your thread, you got to put it in front of that. And then when you bring your needle up, or sorry, I'll bring it down to show you guys. In here, is the, there's a crease where you should, um, it's preferred that you get your thread stuck in there. So I'm just going to go like this. So yeah, I basically pull on it and now it's stuck in this part right over here. So now I pull the needle back up and you see how my thread is stuck in the plate over the needle. So again, you, you, you will have to cut your thread just so it is fine. Once you cut your thread, this is the part where you put it in the needle. Yep. So now that it's in the needle, you just pull. So with antique machines, it might be different. You might be threading from the back to the front. But with this, these machines, you, you go from the, the front side to the back. So now my thread is basically in. So again, uh, you guys can, you know, you can play it again. So basically came from here, went down, went up, went down after this part right here. And then I put it, I got it stuck in my needle. Okay, so that's basically how to thread the top part. So as you guys know, there's a thread that's coming, that's going to stitch on top of your fabric. And then it's a thread at the, bo the bottom. So I'll quickly go over how to, how to thread your bobbin. So again, this machine is simple. This part just slides right out and you take your bobbin out. I will use a white thread. So it is a bit different from the top, uh, the thread on the top. So basically I'm going to put this thread inward. So if we can just zoom in to this part right over here. Um, so basically we'll, the thread should be facing uh, counterclockwise. So basically I'm going to put the bobbin in like this. And this part, you will really have to be zoomed into the to the bobbin. So basically, there's uh, it's kind of tricky to show, but basically, I'm gonna pull the thread towards myself, and there's a little there's a little crease over in here. So basically, I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna pull it to the left and then pull it forward. So the thread went around this little piece in here. So basically, it was facing counterclockwise. I put it around that piece, and now the thread I need to face it uh, the opposite direction. Now I'm going to keep that in the opposite direction, but pull the top threads toward myself. And then over here, I'm just going to slide this down real quick and then pull the thread back up. So if we face back to the needle, it'll look like this. So it goes in and when it comes out, um, you have the thread from the bottom sticking out. So now I just pull on this. It's very tricky to get this, you know, you have to do it really fast. If you don't do it fast enough, chances are it still came out and you can use a pair of scissors to just slide it out like this. So basically now both your threads are your no both your threads are on the outside and you just close you just close the cap and now your machine uh, will be ready to will be ready to stitch. So yeah, that was a tutorial. I'm hoping that it was um you know, I'm hoping that it was simple for you guys. If you guys didn't understand, you have some questions, just leave them down below. 
Um, make sure to thumbs the video up and subscribe to my channel for more, you know, all, videos of all types. For visuals, make sure you're following my Instagram. And I am looking to start a blog. So if you guys are more, you know, you guys are more readers than you are viewers on YouTube, uh, make sure to look out for more information on my on my blog. Thanks.